Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I know I promised yesterday that I was going to vlog trying to get to Sao Paulo today and make this trip happen, but I was not able to pick up the camera before now and I am actually in Montreal right now and this over there is my plane to Sao Paulo. <sighs> Getting here was not easy guys. I am not on my game. I need to tell you the story of me getting here. It was crazy. It was a crazy day. I don't know what's happening. My anxiety is through the roof. I missed my bus. I wish there was a camera capturing me running after the bus. Who would not stop for me? And then getting lost at the airport, not finding my gate, unable to navigate the airport. Like, seriously, I don't know what the heck is happening. I feel completely disoriented, but I'm here. My plane is right there. I don't think there is a chance I'm going to miss that one. And let's hope for a good flight and get this trip started so i will talk to you guys i i think probably once i'm in brazil but i just wanted to start off this vlog documenting that i'm right here by the gate i've made it this far because it was crazy today between picking up my meds and getting my migraine injection missing the bus, getting lost at the airport. What a crazy day it was. But I'm here and we're gonna get there and I'm gonna get to my appointment, which is gonna be on the same day that I'm arriving. But it's all good, it's all good. We're gonna make it happen and we're gonna figure out what the heck is happening with my back and how we can make it better. So, See you in Brazil. Well, guys, we made it. I am in Rio, well, at Rio's airport. Now I need to call an Uber and find where the Uber pickup is. Oh, yeah, found, found the Uber. We made it. I am so glad I got an Uber because if I had got public transportation, I would have to have gone up this hill. And I don't know if you can tell, but 
It is quite a hill and I am exhausted and starving and not in the mood of hauling this suitcase up a hill. But like I said, we're here, let's go. I finally settled in, had something to eat, got changed into something a little bit more appropriate and I'm just trying to rest a little bit before I go to my appointment. I have not even had time to think about this appointment in the last 24 hours, just because it was like, go, 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 rush, rush, rush. And now that my appointment is only a few hours away, I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't even prepared for this appointment. I am always so prepared to my appointments I have like all my history together, all my tests, like everything and list of questions. I'm not prepared. I don't even know what to ask. I am really going into that appointment blind and hope for the best. So yeah, we're just gonna rest a little bit and I'll take you guys right along with me to this appointment. I'll see if I can film a little bit in there. Usually my experience is in Dr. Setting's office, you're not allowed to film. I'm gonna ask, I always do. And if I can, I'll film as much as I can. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm finally here, this is finally happening and I can barely believe it. I am ready for my appointment. We're waiting for the Uber that we already called. I am feeling super nauseous. I don't know if it's just because of the trip and not sleeping at right times, not eating at the proper times, just being on the go, stress of traveling, all that stuff, or if I'm just super nervous about this appointment. Nervous, super nervous. I have waited so long for this day and I have also postponed this day so much because of mixed feelings that now that I'm here and I'm heading to this appointment, it just, it feels a little bit surreal. Okay, I'll talk to you guys once I get there. Let's go. We have been reunited. I missed you. Uh, we're looking for the address. We're not too far. I'm just showing you around a little bit. This is right in Copacabana. There it is. 680. What was the room again? 9 910. 
and he just told me that yesterday was International Day of is it spondyloarthritis? Ontem foi o Dia Mundial da Espondilite Anquilosante, que você tem uma classificação chamada de espondilartrite axial, né? Então é muito importante é, as pessoas terem conhecimento dessa doença, né? Que é uma doença que dá um quadro de, de uma dor é, na coluna, uma dor diferente das, das, das dores habituais de pessoas mais idosas. Então é uma dor que pode dar em pessoas mais jovens, é uma dor que muitas vezes é uma dor noturna que te acorda. O paciente apresenta um quadro de rigidez de manhã, às vezes por meia hora, uma hora ou até a manhã toda e que você tem uma melhora grande é, com anti-inflamatório, mas muitas vezes esses anti-inflamatórios não são é, a medicação suficiente. Então é fundamental, é, diante de um quadro de dores na, na coluna, e essas dores são chamadas de, de lombalgia inflamatória, né? que tem essas características, e que elas melhoram também é, com atividade física, ao contrário das outras dores na coluna, são chamadas de mecânicas, que podem piorar com a atividade física. Então é, é muito importante a gente ter um diagnóstico precoce, porque hoje a gente tem um tratamento bastante eficaz para esse tipo de quadro. E é sempre importante é, a atividade física nesses pacientes para melhora do quadro. Então é fundamental procurar um especialista, que no caso é um reumatologista, que faz um diagnóstico precoce e com isso você tem um desfecho melhor é, do tratamento. Obrigado. I did it. It's done. Now I have a bunch of tests to do, the MRI, some ultrasounds. And yeah, hopefully with uh, the report that he's going to make and the results of those exams, I can take all this paperwork and get it to my rheumatologist in Canada and hopefully get the treatment that I need that supposedly it will make a big difference. So, fingers crossed. Hey guys, welcome to another day here in Brazil, in the beautiful jungle of Rio de Janeiro. So I just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on with uh, the doctor's situation. So I saw my doctor on the very same day that I arrived here in Rio, had the consultation, and again, he once more confirmed the diagnosis of spondyloarthritis or the known radio, uh, what is it called again? Spon... I'll put it down here. Anyways, um, but he did order the MRI and ultrasound, uh, especially for my shoulder because my shoulder, my shoulder and my feet because the plantar fasciitis has been getting really, really bad and my shoulder has been getting really bad. Anyways, I was trying to book it for Thursday and Friday, but the way the booking system here works is kind of strange. It's all through WhatsApp and it took us a while back and forth communicating um, to actually, you know, get to an appointment and she only had an appointment availability on Sunday. And Sunday, my husband is leaving back to Canada and I am leaving to the south to see my dad. So what I decided to do is I'm actually going to do those exams, the MRI and the ultrasound in the south in Florianopolis while I'm staying with my dad because it can be done anywhere really and just relax and stop stressing about it because I was getting really stressed trying to book those appointments and I'm not super familiar with the system here in Brazil. So though I speak the language, I'm not familiar with the systems. And so I was 
quite stressed and I was still quite tired from the trip and my pots has been going absolutely crazy here which is odd because in Thailand was not bad at all the only little bit of a problem I had was that one bungalow that we stayed that was up a hill and then going up that hill was you know a little bit of a problem but other than that like it was way hotter than here way hotter than here and we were on the go every day all day because we were doing touristy stuff and it was generally fine it was the pain that was the worst for me but here the pots has been really bad and i had horrible horrible arrhythmia yesterday it felt I was having like mini heart attacks like all day. And I think that maybe is the anxiety that is triggering it. And I don't think it was only anxiety because anxiety doesn't change if you're sitting or standing. And I could tell the difference between when I was sitting and I was standing, but there was definitely a lot of irregularities with my heart but yeah so the pots has been pretty bad and like I said it's not even that hot here and the pain has been very bad it has been very bad I am relying a lot on painkillers and being social when you are in so much pain is hard and Yes, I always have the option of not being social. I could stay home and not participate in the going out and gatherings and parties and things like that. But I don't come that often here and I don't get to see family and friends that are this far away very often. So I feel that it is one of the situations where it is worthwhile pushing. It is worthwhile not listening to your body, but more listening to your mind and what your heart desires. And so that's what I've been doing, but it has been hard to cope with the pain. And my plantar fasciitis is bad as well. Uh, we are actually going uh, to see the sugar loaf today. I really want to take my daughter there. She's only been there when she was very little. She doesn't remember very much. And so I really want to take her there. And then once we get there, there are places to sit. There's little cafes and things like that. And then I feel that I can manage a little bit better. But I really want to do this with my daughter. So again, one of those things that I kind of feel I should push it because those memories are really going to last forever you know, with me and pain. I experience it every day anyways. Yeah, it's going to be worse, but those memories are going to be with me forever. So we're doing that today. See you guys at the sugar loaf. <laughs> oh, I'm so afraid of heights. such a big lineup to get down after the sunset because everybody goes up for the sunset like to the tallest mountain and then the lineup was like going down the stairs to uh, the yeah. bathrooms yeah. 
Yeah, it was really long. I sat down at a chair and she lined up for me and then she called me when it was close by. Anyways, we're in the middle uh, mountain. We have one more cable car to go down, but we are starving because those caipirinhas like really got to us on an empty stomach. So we got, she got like a chicken bacon wrapped skewer. I got like a shrimp skewer. Uh, with some coke, we got some sugar in us, <laughs> and uh, the caipirinhas didn't have enough sugar. Oh my gosh, I know! Like when they were making the caipirinhas, like usually it's one unit of alcohol, I would think. One shot, yeah. Yeah, one shot. That's what a normal like drink is—a shot of alcohol, right? Are a are there a shot and a half? Yeah. Okay, she did three shots, three shots of alcohol. Like I took two sips. By the time I was lining up to go to the second cable car to go to the tallest peak, I was already like, okay, everything is spinning. The mountains are spinning. The ocean is moving. Meanwhile, I'm in a boat. I chugged my entire thing before we went in the car. I know, like that must be trippy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it was absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking, beautiful. And now we are just gonna have something to eat. I didn't get farofa, and I didn't get the, uh, we need to share of this. I'm here in Florianopolis and I am getting my ultrasound done this morning and then I have an MRI tonight like five o'clock and then I have another MRI tomorrow evening and the reason why I have two is because I couldn't get them all booked together because they were three different MRIs that I needed and they did not have a slot big enough to get all of them done at once. So that sucks a little bit because I think I need contrast for those MRI, which means starting an IV, injecting me with the medication, the contrast, and yeah you don't feel great after that stuff so i'm gonna have to do that twice two days in a row but it is what it is uh, i'm lucky that i was actually able to schedule all these appointments in a very very short amount of time i only had like three or four days that i could schedule them for so i'm pretty happy that i was able to actually manage to schedule all of them so right now i'm just getting the ultrasound done Alright, the ultrasound is done. He said he could see inflammation on my left shoulder. No damage, but inflammation. He couldn't see anything on the right shoulder, but the right shoulder is not bothering me right now. It was bothering me a lot a couple of months ago, but now it's okay and it's the left one that's bothering me. So he did see inflammation there, but my feet he could not see it, like the plantar fasciitis. 
Um, he said that the person, the radiologist or whoever does the report is going to have a better look. But on first sight, there was nothing super obvious. It is a lot better than it was before uh, from when I had to cancel my trip uh, to Thailand because of my feet. But it still bothers me. Like if I am on my feet quite a bit or if I hold weight, uh, then it really hurts. So I'm actually quite surprised that they couldn't see anything on the feet because it has been pretty debilitating. It is not right now, but it has been. He said that ultrasound sometimes doesn't pick up well and you might end up having to do an MRI. So the MRIs that I'm doing is just of the spine. So it's not the shoulders or the feet, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I have arrived for my MRI appointment. It's at the hospital. I'm exhausted, like all day tests and tests. Hey guys, take two of my MRI. Oh my goodness, nobody deserves to do two MRIs back to back. Oh my gosh, that thing is horrible and so loud. And they had to give me contrast, which is IV and i'm not feeling good today i'm feeling super nauseous super exhausted and i don't know if it's a side effect of the contrast they actually um, had me wait there a little bit because they wanted to talk to the doctor to see if i could receive contrast two days in a row and he said it should be fine, that I had to drink lots of water. So yesterday I drank so much water. And then what happens when you drink a lot of water? You pee a lot. And so I was going to the bathroom like every hour, waking up through the night to go pee. And I'm exhausted. I had a migraine this morning and simply not in the mood of doing an MRI today. But that's what i'm here for and hopefully this is going to give me answers so let's do this